The Diocese of Honolulu is doing everything it can to help the victims of the wildfires. Earlier, I spoke with the shepherd there on the phone, Bishop Larry Silva, about the devastation that he saw while celebrating mass about 10 miles outside of the ruined community of Lahaina. I was able to celebrate mass last Sunday at the, the other church of uh, Maria Lanik Kila Parish, Sacred Hearts uh, Mission in Kapalua. And of course, there were about 200 people there. And uh, it was uh, very, very sad. People were telling me stories about uh, um, you know, the loss of loved ones, uh, people burning in cars, people jumping into the ocean, people being overcome by the smoke. Um, because it was just so sudden. Then they were, of course, you know, talking about uh, some had lost their homes, some had moved in with other parishioners, other friends, uh, some were at shelters, uh, so they didn't quite know what was going on. Yeah, so scary too, and I know this is all happening right at the beginning of the school year. How does the church plan to get kids back on track? Well, they're working on that right now. Hopefully, they're, they're looking at possibly uh, um, getting some hotel uh, meeting rooms or ballrooms uh, so that they can have the classes in there. Mm -hmm. Of course, you know, the, getting the teachers back will be a challenge because some of them are homeless. At least mm -hmm. five of our teachers lost their homes from uh, that school, St. Bart School. Um, and... Uh, you know, so that'll be a challenge, but they really do want to get the children back to school as soon as possible uh, so that, you know, they can be with their peers and also so that their parents can have the time they need to uh, fill out, uh, you know, uh, insurance forms and FEMA forms and find work and do all the things that they need to do now. Now, we saw the pictures of that Catholic church in Lahaina that actually survived the flames. Have you seen any other signs of hope or silver linings? Well, of course, yes. Our, our church survived, thanks be to God, even though uh, almost everything else around it burned, mm. including the convent of the school. The rectory also survived. I, I think the signs of hope for are in the people. Uh, you know, they are people of faith. They are, uh, they're, there are a lot of people reaching out to them. Uh, people just really want to know what they can do, how they can help. Uh, we have uh, some Knights of Columbus as we speak going over uh, to Maui in a, in a boat from Honolulu to uh, take some supplies. People are really uh, stepping up and trying to be uh, as helpful as they can. That was the Bishop of Honolulu, Larry Silva. Bishop Silva asked for your prayers, but also said anyone who wants to help can go to the Diocese of Honolulu's website. That's catholichawaii.org. You'll see a button labeled Support the Maui Wildfire Relief Efforts on the bottom right. Hi, I'm Christine Persichetti, anchor of Currents News. If you like what you saw, please hit the like button on this video. And if you want to see more content just like it, subscribe and click on the bell for notifications. Thanks for watching because we are putting your faith in the news.